Hi YouTube, today my soldering iron uh, has arrived uh, by mail so I'm gonna open it and show you uh, what it's like and I'm gonna test it. So, packaging of course, always the same when it comes from China. A little bubble wrap, a cheap box and hopefully inside is gonna be what I want. Okay. So here I have the welding iron, it feels not very heavy, but I hope it will do. Here will be the power, on the back side we have uh, the AC current on off button. On the other side, the connection for the um, soldering iron. We have a potentiometer for changing the temperature, um, a display, and an LED. I also have a support for the soldering iron to put in. So it's going to be something like this. Then we also have, I think that's going to be battery. I'm not sure what this is. When I look at the box, it's only Chinese letters. But maybe it's kind of a flux or something, I don't know. Then there's one tip uh, which came with the soldering iron. It's not that big. So I've already ordered another one. So it's uh, going to be better for the 18650 cells. And of course, uh, the European plug, uh, 230 volts, so we I can power it up. For connecting this into the handheld piece, we just unscrew this one. I can put this in, and this should go completely inside. That's the farthest it can go. Make it a good fit. And now the iron is ready uh, to work. When we undo this, we can put it in here. Got the connector and it's ready to go. We can put it in the support. The only thing we have to do is power it up and we can uh, work with it. So the setup is connected and now we can turn it on. It just beeps and when my cable is not in front of it, it shows what temperature it wants to make. So when I vary from, okay, it's a potentiometer which, go, which goes round and round. So 180 is the least, and I can augment the temperature to about 400, 435 is the max. So at 250 degrees, it's the first time I'm going to use this iron. At 
As you can see, some of them are good, others aren't. So the last one, this one, was at um, 330 degrees. This one and this one were at 250, I think. And the first one even was at 200 degrees. So I think it's not the iron which is the problem, but it's more the tip of the iron, which is too small. Although this one is a low budget Chinese uh, soldering iron device, uh, it has some interesting features. So now you see that it's at 229 degrees and the LED blinks. So that means that the iron is ready to solder. However, when I say, okay, I'm ready, I push the button, you hear a little beep and the LED is almost off. That means that now um, this unit is asleep. So it uses less energy, but it keeps a certain warmth at the tip of um, the soldering iron. But the nice thing is, you can or wake it up just by clicking this one again. But there's also another method, which is even nicer. So I put it back to sleep. When you take out the um, soldering tip and just by moving it, the device senses that something, the tip is moving around and it will uh, activate. After 20 minutes, it will go into uh, sleep modus. So now I just push again on this button and it's sleeping. The items I have here is the first one is a T12D. Um, this is uh, the alimentation uh, for the power. Then we have the T12 soldering iron and this tip is the T12 K. I think I ordered also the T12 C or B or something like that and that's a really big tip so that will be ideal for soldering the 18650 batteries. I hope it was interesting for you uh, to watch my video about this budget soldering iron it's just a first test, but I hope it will work and I think it will work. So thank you very much. Bye.